seven ways to make you mine. Hello, hello. Welcome back once again to Miami. And today we're going to take care of the Wheel of Misfortune challenge and the Under the Sea challenge. You don't really need to bring anything with you for this one. We are going to start as one of the pit crew for the yellow racing team. And the first thing we're going to need to do is grab a key card. That will get us through the doors, not these doors, those doors. Well, not these doors either, but those doors the red ones. So what we're going to do, we're going to come down here because I do remember having something stashed up down here and I can't remember what it is. That was it, it was a spare gun which we don't need to bring with us because we're about to knock a guard out and take his anyway. So I've decided what I'm going to do is I'll take this guard out and then realise I need the briefcase to do it because I need something to distract him with. So, now we've got the briefcase. We're going to throw the briefcase over there. No effect. Okay. Right, we'll try again. Pick the briefcase up. Plug ourselves back up behind this wall here. And we'll throw the briefcase there. Anything? Anything at all? Nope. This guy must be deaf. Right. Let's go third time for the charm. And finally, I hear he seems to be suspicious. Ah, finally. So when he finally comes down the stairs, we're going to knock him out. And we're going to hide his body in the crate. Basically at the moment, I'm going for a silent assassin run. So, he's now investigating. We're going to sneak up behind him, throttle him. Hide his body in this crate over here. Grab his gun. We'll leave the case there, we don't need it. And we're going to take out the camera up the top of the stairs here. So I'm, again, silent assassin run so far. That will all go horribly wrong, as it often does. So now we can go through the red doors. We're going to crouch run our way to this single red door here. We're gonna grab the hammer. We always grab the hammer. We're gonna turn off this generator and we're gonna hide behind this diagnostics terminal thingy. This big red box that I'm hiding behind. And eventually, someone's gonna come in. You'll do. As long as you're wearing red, that's all that matters. As soon as he turns the generator back on, we're gonna knock him out up our hammer and we're going to dump his body in the crate and we're going to take his outfit. Once we've got his outfit we're going to go back through the little red door here and round to the right and in here are two mechanics and the air guns. Now we need one of these air guns. Now unfortunately one of these guys is an enforcer and I can't be bothered to sneak past him so him dealt with. So we pick up the air gun, we're going to make our way round to the pit crew area and we're going to approach the pit terminal area thingy, whatever this is. And then we're going to select the tyre and there we go. Now we watch through the cut screen, cut scene even. So there you go, that's Sierra Knox dead. And that'll get you the Wheels of Misfortune challenge. So now on to Robert Knox. And what we're going to do, we're going to make our way out of the pit area and straight down the paddock. Now when you go down the paddock, there are three or four guards here and they're enforcers to just about every single mechanic or driver's disguise. 
everyone I've noticed so far. So we're going to have to sneak our way past these guys, which ultimately is pointless because even though I'm blending here, and I've stopped and I'm blending, I've been spotted. So we're just going to bolt the rest of the way. And what we're going to do now, essentially, is take out Robert Knox. Essentially by... We're going to trigger his lockdown, essentially. And I really got to stop saying that word. We want him to go to his panic space. Um, where his panic space is, is, is in here, it's in the aquarium. So we're going to jump into the cloakroom area and we're going to put on the engineer's disguise. This will get us around inside the expo building a lot easier. So we're going to make our way through to the exposition room. Exp I can't even say the words. It's been a long day at work. And we're going to make our way around to the Mark III car. And we're going to pick up the screwdriver. So we make our way through, round the back. We're going to take out this camera. And go through this door here. And just on the shelf in front of us, we'll find the screwdriver. And we're going to make our way back to the Mark III car. Back through here. And we're going to tamper with the car's engine. Just like we would do for the internal, uh, external combustion engine challenge, except this time we're not going to put anything on the engine, no nitrogen, glycerin or anything like that. We're going to wait for Smith here to ask us to start the engine. Just like that. And then he's going to ring Robert Knox. And Robert Knox will literally run the whole way down through the building to come and see his baby. So now Robert Knox should be making his way down the stairs. And when he gets here, we're going to trigger his lockdown. So we're going to make our way back round into the behind the scenes area, shall I say. Now, this is the door we want to be going through. And through this door, this leads us to the aquarium area where we will take the kill. As you saw, Robert Knox literally just run past me there. So when he gets to the car and everyone else is out of the way, we're going to come around to this bit because it's a bit more secluded, pull out an unsilenced pistol and let off a few rounds. And that should trigger the lockdown. And then all we've got to do is make our way into the aquarium area. Now, if you want to see what happens a little bit better, I don't recommend standing here. This is probably the safest place to stand, but you won't actually see what's happening. And what we're going to do, when Robert Knox makes his way in here, he's going to stand directly underneath that shark you can see, highlighted. But if you want to see what happens, I recommend plugging yourself up behind those little terminals that are just behind me there. So Robert Knox is in place. All we're going to do is shoot the shark's uh, mooring cables. That will drop the shark onto Robert Knox. And that will get us the under the sea challenge. So now all we've got to do is make our way out of the building and to the exit. We're going to take the main entrance exit as it's probably the nearest one. I do know there is a secret exit right here. But I have not yet quite figured out what order to walk over the fountains in. But I know that's where there is an a secret exit. The dolphin exit. So we're going to make our way down through the underpass, under the racetrack, and we're going to head for the main gates. Right after I asked Tambourine Man, why are you called Tambourine Man? You do not have a tambourine here. And these bongo drums make a very xylophony sound. Someone doesn't know their music mixing very well. But anyway, up the stairs from the other side, now we've made it through the underpass and through the exit. There you go. Two more challenges taken care of. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.